Hello friends, in this video I am going to do one example of <coughs> uh, definite integration. <coughs> the question is like this. Use integration to find the area enclosed by the curl. This is the curl. Y is equal to 60 over square root of 3x minus 1. <coughs> uh, and the lines Y is equal to 0. So this is the line, your x-axis is called Y is equal to 0 line x is this line is called x is equal to 1 and this line is called x is equal to 5 so basically they are asking you to find this shaded area okay and uh, you can find the area by integrating this function between 1 to 5 so I'll do this first algebraically then I'll show you how you can check the answer on a graphic calculator which is really a neat way of uh, checking your answer but you should know how the calculator works okay I don't I hate students only using the calculator so I would say area is integrating between 1 to 5 so these are this is called the lower bound and this is called the upper bound so this is called the definite integration of this function 60 over square root of 3x minus 1 dx now basically what we are doing is now to understand to give you a just uh, a brief explanation of what what we are actually doing is see we are treat this as a very small suppose imagine this suppose this is imagine this to be a super small rectangle okay so let me okay so this is so this the width of this rectangle is dx okay and the height is y okay so how does this give you the area what we are doing is in integ when you're integrating what you're doing is you're adding suppose if you find the area of this rectangle okay so the area of this super small or infinitesimally small so we imagine this rectangle which is infinitesimally thin okay and the area of this would be uh, base times height which is dy times y okay and you have infinite rectangles from 1 to 5 so when you're integrating you are adding up all the infinite rectangles between 1 to 5 okay that's what integration is that's what I tell my students integration is nothing but addition okay so the area of this uh, rectangle is base times height which is dx times y and this is this is your dx this is your base and this is your height this is d this should be square root of oh I'm using a big eraser okay so the area is from 1 to 5 of 60 over square root of so you should understand the intuition behind it it's you can do it mechanically but if you don't understand what we are doing you don't uh, tend to enjoy it so i'll repeat it yeah this is your this is your base okay and this is your y okay which is your height okay so and when you're integrating between 1 to 5 you're adding up all the infinite rectangles between 1 to 5 okay so yeah so now doing the integration so this is integration of between 1 to 5 of 60 times this can be written as 3x minus 1 to the power negative half dx okay so you can factor out the 60 out so let me factor out the 60 so integrating 1 to 5 of 3x minus 1 to the power negative half dx. I'm going very slowly so that you understand. So now here yeah, we are using, yeah, we'll first have to, uh, have to integrate, okay, I would not say integrate. We have to use the reverse chain rule. In differentiation, what do I mean by that? Suppose you had to differentiate this function, this whole function, you would have differentiated this and you would have written 3 first. And integration is the opposite of 
differentiation. You can I can explain this in a different way, but it will be very long. So this is a smart way to integrate. This is the reverse chain rule. That's how I describe it. Reverse chain rule means you do the opposite of what you would have done in differentiate differentiation. So if you were differentiating this function, you would differentiate this first, and you would the differentiation of this is times three. So the opposite of in differentiation, uh, sorry, opposite of multiplication is division. So I'll divide by three, okay, to uh, integrate this function or differentiate or reverse uh, chain rule uh, times. Then you have to integrate this as a power function. So when integrating, you add the power, add one and divide it by the same. So what do I mean by that? So this is 3x minus 1 to the power half plus 1. Uh, and then you have to add, divide the same thing, the same in the denominator. So what is minus half plus 1? Minus half plus 1 is same as half. So that is half. And you have to put the definite uh, the limits of integration 1 to 5, just like that. Okay, so... So this is 60, 60 times, so 3 times half is 1.5, dividing by 1.5, or, okay, so let me do that. So this is 3x minus 1 to the power half, uh, divide, this is divided by 1.5, 1 to 5. So let me get a calculator. 60 divided by 1.5 is 40. Okay, so this is 40. So I'll write 40. So this is same as 40 times. Now you have to put the value of this is upper bound and this is the lower bound. So you put this into this and then take away 1 from this. So what do I mean by this? If you put 5 here, 3 times 5 is, so let me do that. So 3 times 5, 15 minus 1 to the power half minus 3 times 1 minus 1 to the power half. So this is 40 times, this is 15 minus 1 which is 14 to the power half minus 2 to the power half. So this is 40 times, I'll have to get a calculator out. Okay, so this is 14 to the power, so let me directly do it, uh, that is 40 times, oh, 40 times 14 to the power, 0.5, sorry, 0 0.5 minus 2 to the power 0 0.5, that is this number, 93 point. 0 0.9 or 93.1 uh, unit cubes. So I'll round it to one decimal point. So that is 93 point. This is whatever. Okay. So now we finally got the answer, which is 93.1 unit squared. So I'll show you how to do, do this on a calculator. Uh, so get your calculator out and uh, go to your run menu. First, you go to your run menu. Let me exit. Okay, so if you go to your run menu, go to F4, which is calculus, and then integration. The integration was 60 times 3x, 3x minus 1 to the power negative 0 0.5, and the lower bound was 1 and the upper bound. So you have to put a comma there. So we are asking the calculator, integrate this function uh, between, or do the definite integration between 1 to 5. Okay, so then if you execute, that's 93.1. Okay, so this is how you can check your answer. See you in the next one.